Dante Davis on the left side of your screen, 21 years old as you look at the tail of the tape, presented by Corona, who brings you the best. We go to ring announcer Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the DC California Mexico presenting He Had a Mole El Borrego Alvila. Introducing Gervonta Mahal Davis. I expect you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Let's have a good fight. Touch them up. In boxing is the romance of seeing a future champion at a tender. And undoubtedly, at some point, we'll look for it here tonight. And he's for Javante Davis to get his timing and use his power. But at the end of the day, he had that equal line man, as well as Floyd Mayweather. He's from Baltimore, about a 40 minute drive from where we sit. And full episodes of your favorite shows anywhere, anytime, for free. Now available at the App Store. The power he's outmatched in this fight. He might have to change to more of a boxing style. Let's see if he does this it. This fight works two different ways. He can come out and hit him with a big punch, knock him out, or win by dominating that. Deontay, I mean, uh, Davis hasn't faced those caliber points. Davis dives in with a couple of lefts, and finally fires a right. Wild swing there. Power punch kind of brawl. I don't think he, he can win that way against Davis, because Davis can hit. See the fundamental basis. Where's the jab? Where's the quick jab to get everything? The tank. Said it was actually a, a coach in his youth. The head was the original victim. And he goes to the head here. You see Armory. Short drive. And a man who on ringside. Floyd Mayweather just sitting over to our right during this two-hour edition of PBC on Spike. You don't and want to kind of fall into that, always looking for the knockout, always wanting, always wanting to please the crowd. And that was a good shot. Yep, and, and the squint. Make no mistake, guys. He may be the underdog, but Avila came to fight tonight. Undoubtedly. I mean, he approached, and he, he approached this fight with the confidence of saying, hey, I got a shot here. Because this guy still has to prove to me. He's fighting the other guy's great opportunity. Exactly. He's making the most of it. They're trading punches. Avalos is awesome. But Davis definitely landing the power bombs. Yeah. But Avila definitely fighting with that Mexican style. That's he Some wild shots missing. Some connecting here. As the second the biggest round. reaction out of either fighter in round number two after what we thought was a punch. It actually was a headbutt followed by a vulnerable to those shots. Well, you know, the fact that they're even trading punches and Avila is also uh, Davis is there the for the kingdom. Well, he said it was a relative that noticed he had curly hair as a kid. Also with a name, nickname like the sheep when you're growing up, <laughs> you better be tough yep. in the playground. The thing is that both guys are in love with their power punches right yes. now. The reason we're seeing so many off-balance shots really is really using the lead hand well. You could do it. You land a few punches, you know you can do it. I think Avila's at that point where he landed one, one for one, the power edge. It's to Davis. I think he has some cut under the eye. Just cut Avila. And Davis might have something here in round number three. A big cut exploded on the face of Avila. An uppercut that snuck in quickly. And look at the blood that came out of Avila's face. But he's uh, below the uh, left cheek. But he's bleeding. It's a great uppercut. Now he just can't get hit with that punch again. <laughs> Avila, best in the body, upstairs, Davis unfazed, goes back in for more. This corner doesn't look like it's bleeding no, that you know badly what? anymore. I expected it to be huge here at the beginning, the prolific amount of blood that I expected has not been that way. Certainly disfigured and discolored. Javante Davis piling up points, the crowd reacts to it away in the first couple rounds has dissipated oh. because of that cut that body shot hurt him big Ooh. body shots Borrego section exposes the head the crowd senses something here look at the hard oh. out he gets spent a little bit and have to take a second win but there are still 45 plus seconds with which to work in the fourth and right here Davis is tired at this moment, Antonio. Said again. Condition to go all out for three minutes. Yeah, but Avila, you but he don't. got to get his hands up. Oh, and a couple big lefts and a right, and a left and a right. This could be a stoppage. Final seconds by the bell. Avila stays up through the bell. Bad time for a stop okay. because the fighter was still in the fight. And then fight. Stop the fight. Good.
non-call by the referee. She was on top of it, didn't stop the fight. I think his legs were still under him. That was a good look at the wind-up. The subtlety is gone in this fight. It's about huh. Davis believing he can get that combination when he put a three-punch combination in between yeah, yeah, yeah. that instead of loading up with one shot at a time. I'm going to continue to stretch that. As well you should. Okay? <laughs> well you should, champ. Hey, hey, Peeking over out. at the ringside doctor who still... Bell rings. Guys on his feet, and you think he's out. They have to prove your point yes. by staying up yeah. through the belt. And he comes out swinging. Comes out swinging. And I believe it because they all got hit with that uppercut. Yeah, I can guarantee. You. <laughs> Keep in mind, boxing is very cultural. It's culturally defined. Whenever you take on a guy who went through the Tijuana circuit, swinging. Northern Mexico, yeah. don't think you have this guy done yet. Very, very tough boxes out of there. Tijuana, Mexico. Yeah. Now it's important that I believe. Not showing the activity he did in round four. Well, he, he burned a lot of gas. Oh, he drops him. He's saved by the bell. Can Avila get up? Hey, In the middle, there is the bell. Heavy hands. Gervonta Davis of the fight. But that punch came different than any other punch he was loading up with, and he was, it just came off in rip. One, two, it was slow. Well, we knew Avila needed to show something at the beginning of the round to stay in it, and now Davis thinks he's got him done, and Michelle Myers has Cervante Davis bounces up and down on the ropes and scores his sixth straight knockout. When he can you as quick as a tank can shoot its armaments, and at the DC Armory, Fight number one on PBC on Spike is a knockout. Young prospect will be heard from Chip level. Gervonta Davis goes through Avila in round six. And has scored a knockout in over 95%. Let's get the official announcement with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside job. the ring, referee Michelle Myers waves off the contest. The undefeated Gervonta, the Juan Davis. Jimmy Smith walks over and let's hear this interview in front of what's virtually a hometown crowd. Gervonta, this was at the DC Armory. That's appropriate because you had firepower tonight. How did it feel? The whole DC, the whole boxing and sport, you know, people that's tuning in to Spike, you know, everybody that backed me for this fight, you know, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, it just feels great to be back home. Avila came to fight. He was right in front of you the entire time, didn't back down. A lot of respect for him. What's next for you as an opponent? Um, we just got to get back to the drawing board, you know, with uh, my team. By, uh, it just feels great to be back home. Avila came to fight. He was right in front of you the entire time, didn't back down. A lot of respect for him. What's next for you as an opponent? Um, we just got to get back to the drawing board, you know, with uh, my team, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, Al Hammond, get back to the drawing board and start off. 14 knockouts. He's only 21 years old.